The weirdest shoes in NBA history. From neon high tops to cowboy boots, the NBA has seen its fair share of unusual footwear choices over the years. But some players have taken it to the next level, sporting shoes that look more like they belong in a science fiction movie than on a basketball court. Get ready to take a walk on the wild side as we explore some of the weirdest shoes in NBA history. From Shaq's size 22 sneakers to Dennis Rodman's colorful kicks, these shoes are sure to turn heads and leave you scratching yours. So lace up your own sneakers and get ready for a journey into the bizarre world of NBA footwear. Number 1. Shaquille O'Neal's Shaqnosis shoes were a popular sneaker design in the mid-1990s. Released in 1995, the shoes featured a unique and mesmerizing hypnotic swirl design that set them apart from other basketball shoes of the time. The Shaqnosis shoes were designed to reflect Shaq's larger-than-light persona, and the hypnotic swirl design was inspired by his nickname, Shaqnosis. The shoes were available in a range of colors, but the most popular version was black and white, which emphasized the swirling pattern on the upper. Aside from their unique design, the Shaqnosis shoes were also notable for their comfort and performance on the basketball court. The shoe featured a leather and mesh upper, with a padded tongue and collar for added support. The midsole was made of a lightweight foam material that provided cushioning and shock absorption during play. The Shaqnosis shoes were a hit with sneakerheads and basketball fans alike. Thanks to their bold and innovative design, they were often seen on the feet of NBA players and were even worn by Shaq himself during games. Despite their popularity, the Shaqnosis shoes were not without controversy. Some critics claimed that the hypnotic swirl design was a gimmick and had no real purpose while others joked that they might actually be able to hypnotize opponents on the court. Regardless of the debate, there was no denying that the Shaqnosis shoes were a unique and eye-catching design that left a lasting impact on the world of basketball shoes. Today, the Shaqnosis shoes are considered a classic sneaker design and are sought after by collectors and fans of both basketball and sneaker culture. Number 2. Dennis Rodman's D. Rodman Shoe was a unique and eccentric design that combined elements of both a sneaker and a dress shoe. The shoe was released in the late 1990s and was one of the most distinctive basketball shoes of its time. The D. Rodman shoe featured a mix of leather and suede on the upper, with a sleek and sophisticated design that reflected Rodman's own fashion sense. The shoe was available in a range of colors, but the most popular version was black and white, which emphasized the contrasting textures of the leather and suede. Despite its unconventional design, the D. Rodman shoe was also functional and performance-oriented. The shoe featured a rubber outsole with a herringbone pattern, which provided excellent traction and grip on the basketball court. The midsole was made of a lightweight foam material that offered cushion and support during play. While the D. Rodman shoe was certainly eye-catching, it was also somewhat polarizing. Some fans appreciated Rodman's bold and unconventional approach to sneaker design while others found the combination of sneaker and dress shoe elements to be too jarring. Despite the mixed reception, the D. Rodman shoe remains a unique and memorable design in the world of basketball shoes. Its combination of fashion and function was reflective of Rodman's style and personality, and it continues to inspire sneaker designers to think outside the box when it comes to creating new and innovative designs. Number 3. Kobe Bryant's Copy 2 was his second signature shoe, released in 2000 but it was not a success. The shoes had a bulky and strange design that did not resonate with basketball fans, which made them look more like mood boots than basketball shoes. The Kobe 2 featured a unique upper design that extended well above the ankle, with a large tongue and oversized straps that added to the overall bulkiness of the shoe. The shoe also had a distinctive ridge on the sole that ran along the length of the shoe, which was intended to provide extra support and stability for the foot during play. Despite the shoe's innovative design features, the Kobe 2 was criticized for its strange proportions and lack of style. Fans and critics alike felt that the shoe was too bulky and heavy, making it difficult to wear on the basketball court. The Kobe 2 was not a commercial success, and Bryant himself later admitted that the shoe was a misstep in his sneaker line. He eventually moved on to other designs, including the popular Kobe 4 and Kobe 9 models, which were more successful and better received by fans. Despite its lack of success, the Kobe 2 remains a notable design in the world of basketball shoes. Thanks to its unique and unconventional design features, it serves as a reminder that even the greatest athletes can sometimes make missteps in their quest for innovation and excellence. Number 4. 
Tracy McGrady's T-Mac 5 was his fifth signature shoe, released in 2005. The shoe was intended to represent McGrady's explosive speed on the court with a distinctive rocket design on the heel. The rocket design was intended to be a bold and innovative feature, but it ended up being the shoe's downfall. Many fans and critics felt that the design was too flashy and gimmicky, making the shoe look more like a child's toy than a serious basketball shoe. Aside from the rocket design, the T-Mac 5 also featured a sleek and streamlined upper, with a mix of leather and synthetic materials for durability and support. The shoe also had a lightweight foam midsole for cushioning and impact protection during play. Despite its technical features, the T-Mac 5 was ultimately overshadowed by its strange and off-putting design. The rocket element was seen as a misstep, and the shoe was not well received by fans or critics. However, despite its lack of commercial success, the T-Mac 5 remains an interesting and memorable design in the world of basketball shoes. It serves as a reminder that even the most talented and successful athletes can sometimes miss the mark when it comes to designing their signature footwear. Number 5. Shaquille O'Neal's Shaq Attack was his first signature shoe, released in 1992. The shoe was certainly unique, with a distinctive oversized Dunkman logo on the tongue and a bold and bizarre pattern on the upper. However, the real innovation of the Shaq Attack was its use of pump technology, which allowed players to inflate the shoes for a custom fit. This was a groundbreaking feature at the time and gave players a new level of control over the fit and feel of their footwear. Despite its innovative features, the Shaq Attack was not without its quirks. The oversized Dunkman logo and bold pattern were certainly eye-catching, but some fans and critics found them to be a bit too flashy and distracting. Additionally, there were concerns about the durability and stability of the inflated shoes, with some players worrying that they might pop or deflate during play. However, these concerns proved to be unfounded, and the Shaq Attack went on to become a popular and successful shoe. The Shaq Attack was a groundbreaking design that pushed the boundaries of what was possible in a basketball shoe. Its use of pump technology was an important innovation that would go on to influence many future sneaker designs. Number 6. Jason Kidd's Jumpman Vindicate was a signature shoe released by Nike in 2002. The shoe featured an unusual design with a strap that went across the toe box and a patent leather upper. The strap was intended to provide additional support and stability for the wearer while the patent leather gave the shoe a sleek and stylish look. The Jumpman Vindicate was marketed as a shoe that would help Kid vindicate himself on the court after a difficult season in which he struggled with injuries and poor performance. However, the shoe was not well received by fans and critics, who felt that it looked more like a pair of dress shoes than a basketball shoe. The patent leather upper was seen as too flashy and impractical for use on the court, while the strap across the toe box was seen as unnecessary and uncomfortable. Some players even reported experiencing discomfort and blisters from wearing the shoe. Despite these criticisms, the Jumpman Vindicate did have some fans who appreciated its unique design and the support it provided on the court. However, it never became a widely popular shoe, and it is now largely forgotten in the history of basketball footwear. In the end, the Jumpman Vindicate was a bold but flawed attempt to create a new and innovative basketball shoe. While it did not succeed in vindicating Kidd on the court, it remains an interesting and unusual piece of the sneaker history. Number 7. Scottie Pippen's Air Pippen 2 was a signature shoe released by Nike in 1998. The shoe featured a unique design with a monkey paw on the heel that was intended to provide additional support and stability for the wearer. The monkey paw was a rubber appendage that wrapped around the heel of the shoe and extended up the back. It was designed to mimic the shape of a human hand with fingers that could wrap around the ankle and provide extra support during lateral movements on the court. However, the monkey paw was also a controversial design element, with many fans and critics finding it strange and even creepy. The oversized rubber appendage looked more like something out of a horror movie than a basketball shoe, and some players reported feeling uncomfortable wearing it. Despite these criticisms, the Air Pippin 2 was a popular shoe among fans and collectors, thanks in part to its association with Pippin one of the greatest players in NBA history. The shoe was also praised for its cushioning and support, with many players reporting that it helped them play at their best on the court. Today, the Air Pippin 2 remains a unique and memorable piece of sneaker history, known for its innovative design and bold approach to performance footwear. While the monkey paw may have been a bit of a misstep, 
It remains a testament to the creativity and experimentation that have made basketball shoes such an important part of the culture of the game. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more NBA updates like this one. And see you in the next video.